Nobara, Bezite, PopOS, if you're a gamer, Linux has come a long way. Thanks to tools like Proton, Lutris and Heroic, you can now run a surprising number of Windows games natively on Linux. But some distros make it even easier. Gone are the days when switching to Linux meant saying goodbye to your game library. In the last few years, Linux gaming has gone from a niche hobby to something even hardcore gamers can take seriously. Whether you are into AAA titles, indie gems or retro emulation, Linux can handle it. The real magic started with Proton, a compatibility layer built right into Steam that allows many Windows games to run seamlessly on Linux, often with just one click. It's based on Wine but heavily optimized for gaming. Then there is Lutris, an all-in-one game manager that brings your titles together from different platforms, whether they're native Linux games, Windows games or even console emulators. And for Epic Game Store, GOG and Amazon games, there is Heroic Games Launcher, a clean open source alternative to their official clients without all the bloat. Performance has improved massively, with modern drivers, Vulkan support and kernel optimizations, Linux gaming isn't just possible. In some cases, you might even see better frame times and stability than on Windows. But here's the thing. While you can make almost any Linux distro work for gaming, some already optimize out of the box. They save you hours of setup, driver installs and troubleshooting, so you can spend more time actually playing. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through three of the best gaming distros with a few extra ones, explain who are they for and why you might want to install one today. First up, Nobara. If you ever installed a vanilla distro and then spent an entire evening adding codecs, enabling gamepad support, installing GPU drivers and tweaking kernel settings, Nobara is here to save you from all that. Nobara was created by Thomas Kreider, the developer who maintains one of the most popular Proton builds for gaming. So yeah, this distro was literally built by a gamer for gamers. Out of the box, Nobara comes with Steam, Lutris, Wine, Proton GE, OBS for streaming, multimedia codecs and a full gamepad support already set up. No extra downloads, no searching forms, it just works. It also has performance focused tweaks, a custom kernel with patches for better frame times and reduced input latency. Pre-configured settings for multimedia and gaming workloads, lower overhead and background processors for your CPU and GPU, so your CPU and GPU are focused on the game. Since it's based on Fedora, you get a modern clean desktop, regular updates and a strong security. But without Fedora's usual lack of proprietary software, Nobara bridges the gap perfectly. Who's Nobara for? Honestly, it's perfect for anyone who wants to switch to Linux and game right now without spending hours setting up drivers and hunting down dependencies. If you're moving from Windows and you want something familiar in terms of plug and play gaming, this should be at the top of your list. But maybe you want a distro that feels more like a console? One that's just as comfortable on your desktop as it is on a Steam Deck. That's where Bezite comes in. Next up, Bezite. If Nobara feels like a pre-built gaming PC, Bezite is more like a Linux-powered console. It's designed to deliver that switch it on and start playing experience. Whether you're on a traditional desktop or a Steam Deck. Bezite is built on Fedora Atomic, which means it's an immutable operating system. In plain English, that means your core system files are locked down, so updates are safer, more reliable and much harder to break. It also comes with automatic updates and flatpak support right out of the box. You don't have to mess with package formats or worry about dependency. Just click install and you're good to go. Bezite really shines if you're a Steam Deck owner. It's optimized for both keyboard, mouse and full controller use, so you can switch between gaming at your desk and gaming on the couch. The gaming features list include pre-installed Steam, Lutris, Heroic Games Launcher, game mode for resource prioritization, decky loader and plugins for Steam Deck customization. And if you're into retro gaming, emulators are a breeze here. Many work straight out of the box without extra tweaking. Who's Bazite for? Two types of people. Steam Deck owners who want more flexibility than SteamOS offers 
and desktop gamers who want a console-like experience that stays updated and stable without manual tinkering. Next, we'll check out Pop OS, one of the best distros for NVIDIA users and anyone who likes a Polish desktop with gaming power under the hood. Alright, let's check out Pop OS. It's made by System76, a company that actually sells Linux laptops and desktops. This isn't just a reskinned Ubuntu, it's a distro designed to work perfectly with modern hardware and that includes gaming gear. One of the best features for gamers, especially NVIDIA gamers, is that Pop OS offers a special NVIDIA ISO. That means your GPU drivers are already installed and configured right from the start. No terminal commands, no black screen surprises, just boot up and game. Pop OS also comes with its own tiling window manager, Pop Shell, which makes multitasking a lot smoother. It's not directly a gaming feature, but if you stream, monitor temps, or chat with friends while playing, you'll appreciate it. Why Pop OS is good for gaming? Well, it has instant NVIDIA or AMD driver setup, it is Ubuntu based and has massive software compatibility, it has clean, minimal desktop that stays out of the way. Under the hood, you've got all the advantages of Ubuntu, easy software installation, broad hardware support, and a huge community. But System76 also adds performance tuning and an overall polish that's make it feel more modern and responsive. Who's Pop OS for? If you got an Nvidia card or just want something rock solid and beginner friendly without sacrificing performance, this is an excellent choice. It's also a great daily driver if you want one distro for work and play. Also, let's mention Cache OS. It's an ARC based distro that's all about performance. If Bezet is a set in and forget it gaming console, Cache OS is the overclock custom rig you build to squeeze out every last frame. The developers have tuned almost every part of the system for speed and responsiveness. That starts with a kernel. Cache OS offers custom kernels like Boar and their own Cache kernel, both designed to reduce latency and improve frame stability. Since it's Arch based, you're getting the latest software and drivers almost as soon as they're released. That's great for new hardware support, especially if you've got a brand new GPU or CPU. Performance features list includes aggressive compiler optimizations for your CPU architecture, custom kernel with gaming focus patches, low latency IO schedulers for faster load times. In practice, that means faster boot times, snappier desktop performance, and potentially a few extra frames in demanding titles, especially on high refresh rate monitors where frame pacing matters. Who's Cache OS for? This is for the power users, people who aren't afraid to dig into settings, want cutting edge updates, and are willing to trade a little stability for maximum performance. If you're the type who enjoys tweaking every last option in your system, Cache OS might just be your dream distro. Before we jump into the final comparison, there are a few more gaming friendly distros worth mentioning. This might not be as plug and play as our main picks, but there are still excellent options if you want to try something different. Manjaro Linux. Manjaro is an Arch based distro that's a lot easier to install and maintain than pure Arch. It has good hardware detection, a roll and release model, and you can choose from multiple desktop environments. It's a solid middle ground if you want newer software without the manual setup of Cache OS. Garuda Linux. Probably the most visually striking distro in this list. It's Arch based, gaming focused, and comes with a custom Zen kernel for performance. It also has BTRFS snapshots, so if an update breaks something, you can roll back easily. Chimera OS. If you want your PC to feel like a dedicated gaming console, this is a cool option. It boots straight into Steam Big Picture mode and is designed for a couch gaming experience. Think of it as Steam OS, but for any PC. None of these are bad choices. It really comes down to how much you want to tweak things yourself versus having everything ready right away. Alright, now that we've got both our main contenders and some honorable mentions, let's line them up side by side and configure out which one's right for you. Alright, here's how our four main contenders stack up side by side. Nobara. It has easiest setup for general gaming, great out of the box support for streamers and gamepads, perfect for beginners moving from Windows who just want to start playing. Bezite. It's best for Steam Deck owners 
and anyone who wants a console-like experience, immutable system for stability, automatic updates, and great controller support. Pop OS. It's best for NVIDIA users and those who want a clean daily driver that also handles gaming without fuss. Special NVIDIA ISO makes driver setup painless. Cache OS. It's great for performance chasers. Roller release arch base, custom kernels, aggressive optimizations. You'll get cutting edge software, but you need to be comfortable with more frequent updates. So which one should you choose? If you want zero setup and maximum compatibility, go with Nobara. If you're a Steam Deck owner or one that living room console wipe, pick Bazite. If you like to tweak, tune and push your system to the limit, Cache OS is the way to go. And if you've got an Nvidia card or want a rock solid all-rounder, Pop OS won't disappoint. And don't forget Manjara, Garuda and Chimera OS are also great alternatives if you want something a little different. The bottom line, gaming on Linux has never been better. No matter which distro you pick, you've got a ton of powerful tools at your fingertips. So those are my picks for the best gaming Linux distros, plus a few extras if you feel adventurous. What distro are you gaming on right now? Or which one do you think to install? Drop it in the comments below. I tried to make this video as complete as possible, but of course I might have missed something. Let me know in the comment section below if I have missed anything. And is there a distro that deserves a spotlight that I have missed? Let me know in the comment section below. But this is it for today. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you love Linux tips, tutorials, distro reviews, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. There is going to be more interesting Linux content on my channel, so stay tuned. And if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can always use super thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm going to put the link in the description. But this is it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.